In this video, I'm going to show you how to use newspaper and magazine databases to find additional information on, say, a chef or a restaurant. So what we're looking at here is a list of um, databases that specialize in newspaper articles or magazine articles. And these are the kind of places where you'll find information about a chef or restaurant, something that is relatively new or current that's happening right now. So I'm going to start in um, Master File Complete, which is a magazine database, and I'm going to do a search on a famous chef named Marcus Samuelson. And in order to search for him, I'm going to type in his name, and I'm going to put his name in quotes because it's really important that the two names, his first and last name, show up next to each other in the article. Master File Complete is in EBSCO database, and so are some of the others on my list. So I'm going to click on the other ones on the list, Academic Search Complete and Business Source Elite, so I can search them all at once. Let me put, put his name back in, in quotes, and let's see what we can find. So I have 700 results. This guy is a famous chef. The first thing I'm going to do is limit to full text. Now I have 457 results, going back to 1996, so he's been known for a long time. And now I'm just going to kind of scroll through the results and see what looks interesting to me. So I might be looking for like a juicy biography about him. So here's one um, in Ebony Magazine from 2010. It's a three, it's a three page article with color photographs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it's giving me a summary. And what's really good about this is it has a subject and it has his name as a subject term. So librarians are some of the first taggers. So if, if we were looking for a chef and it was hard to find stuff on that person, as long as we found one article that had a subject, if I click that, it'll launch a whole new search. It'll bring back everything on that person. I wanna see the full text of this article, so I'm gonna click the PDF full text link. And here you can see this article about this chef right here. Um, just like it's an interview with him, so that's kind of cool. And just like in all the other databases that we had, you've got ways to save it to Google Drive, OneDrive. You can print it, you can download it, you can email it to yourself, and you can get the citation by clicking on that little link. And if you scroll down, you'll get to the MLA citation for this article. If we go back to our research guide, we can try some other databases. So I'm gonna look in US Major Dailies, it's a newspaper database, and I can do a search for him in here as well, Marcus Samuelson. And I've got 1300 results. It's talking about one of his new restaurants opening, and from some of the research I'd done before, I, you know, remember that he had a restaurant called Red Rooster, and I wonder if people thought that was a good restaurant. So I'm going to do a look, a search for Red Rooster. I put Red Rooster in quotes because it's really important that the world, words show up next to each other. And I'm going to add and restaurant after it because I want to make sure that the results are limited to those about Red Rooster that's a restaurant. If I get a lot of results, I might have to add Samuelson's name to it. But here's one, Restaurant Review, Red with Rooster. Twist the tongue, new restaurants have square feet to spare. Red Rooster Lunch, Chef Samuelson recently opened a restaurant called Red Rooster. So I know this is definitely about his restaurants. Um, and it's pretty short, um, but it's giving me like some information, like even a review of the restaurant. Did people like it or not? Um, and just like in the other databases, I can save this article, I can cite it, and if I click the three dots, it's going to show me the other options that I have with it. So hopefully, um, using these databases over here, you'll be able to find the information that you want about a specific restaurant or chef. And of course, you can still always use the internet. It's a great place as well.